Uh, so welcome back guys and in this tutorial we are going to be looking at the JavaFX combo box and the combo box is just a drop down list of items okay so uh, the combo box usually takes a list all right it takes a maybe an array list and then uh, it's populated and then you can select the items and using the drop down list then when the user selects an item from the list it becomes displayed on top of the combo box and event can be attached to this action so <coughs> We go next. We see how to create a a combo box, and this is how we create a combo box. We have the combo box. We have the node. You know, we have the node is either a string, a pattern, or whatever. Well, what is the combo box going to contain? What what is the list that is going to be there, right? And that is what we uh, we call the node here, right? And then we are going to create an observable list. Uh, of course the combo box is populated using an observable list and uh, once we have created this we add the nodes here or the children here and then we can set that observable list to the children okay without saying anything else let us go to the code and let's see how we are going to create the combo box let's see so I'm back in my editor and I'm going to uh, I'm just going to delete this, this uh, some of these components because we have we already done with this, and so I'm also going to delete those buttons. So here I'm going to create a combo box. To create a combo box is simple. It's going to be very simple. It's going to be a combo box of string. All right. It's going to be maybe names. Let me, let me see. Uh, string combo box, something like that. Then I'm going to say put a new combo box right Just like that then here we are going to create an observable array list and this array list is going to be made of string and then I'm going to say names oh, I'm just going to say cities okay so it's an array list of cities equals to fxml fxml ml corrections f mm -hmm, xml corrections dot be sure to you are dealing with an observable array list okay this is the observable array list so um, once we have that then we can see cities dot add add and we are going to say Nairobi now we are going to say Nairobi uh, we are going to I'm going to copy this just Control D, and we duplicate that. Then I'm going to say, I don't know whether Paris is a city or whatever. But I'm going to say New York, New York. I'm also going to say uh, Hong Kong. I, 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 I think I think that's enough, guys. Okay, so. Um. Uh, now, maybe Abuja. Maybe Abuja. Now we have this, and uh, I need to add this. I have added them to the cities observable list collection. And even before I add this to the cities, I think it was important that I first demonstrate how the combo box shall look without any item okay so before i set the list to the combo box i'm first of all going to say parental container remember we are adding one node so therefore we are going to say get, dot get children dot add not add all we are just going to use dot 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 add okay a node e and then we are going to add the combo box string combo box okay so let's see how this is going to work out let's run this let's just see how the combo box is going to look in that yeah and you can see this is the combo box guys okay i hope you can really see it i hope you can see it i think i can set its prep width okay so that it's big enough so i can just say um, string combo box dot set pref width then i'm going to say maybe 200 okay so that you guys may be able to see all right 
I'm running this again and you can now see this is it okay guys okay we can set a placeholder but I'm not going to set up a placeholder for now it's not necessary but I'm going to speak about the other method here that we used to append these items into the combo box and it's simple we just say um, string combo box dot set items okay set items is very very important and that is how we are we use we are able to get that uh, observable array list into this combo box therefore it's going to take an f example correction of cities and that's it guys so now we can be able to run this and let's see okay so as you can see we have our items in the combo box okay i hope you you are really able to see this you have the items in the combo box okay guys and uh, so um how do we get uh, the, an item that has been selected here how do you get an item that has been selected remember uh, guys I say that um, I shall be using an alert box to show anything that we want okay so first of all to get the item that has been selected there it's very 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 simple it's just saying just putting it like this okay you just have to come here and say string combo box dot set on action okay that's it and bam you are good to go so later on i'm going to filter these actions and then i'm going to explain more about what i mean by this event we can actually check the kind of event that has happened so that we will be able to work but it's not or not the controls that we are really interested in the in the event just in this in this case for example we are not really interested in the event so i'm first of all going to say if that combo box there is a selection i'm going to say create a rat okay and then, um, and then i'm going to tell it um remember this is the method that i created in the last in the previous tutorial i'm just going to say create art and then a rat to type maybe i'm going to take it information okay then i'm just going to take it selection detected all right just come let me just come here and i'm going to say set header text um hmm. I just want to say this is a header text selection 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 from combo box then I'm going to say in the message I'm just going to say a selection was was detected okay and so let's run this and see guys so every time we select an item from this we are going to see this combo box and it's going to tell us that there was something that was selected in from the list and uh, i'm going to run this it's running guys and okay so now when when i i think i should first of all have this uh a little bit bigger okay so when i now uh, select something from here you can see uh, we have the information a selection was made all right okay and maybe right maybe section or uh, selection or from combo box okay but we don't want to do this okay we want to have this uh the item that was selected there shown here okay okay and then maybe it's going to be in form of a greeting or something okay so i'm going to first of all i'm going to edit something here and in this method that we are using to create the uh, to create the art box I'm going to add another uh, another parameter that is a string and it's going to take uh, selection now this string is going to contain the selected item from the combo box okay and then it, we are going to um, I shall set it in the context text all right uh, uh, content text all right so I'm going to say maybe I'm going just to say hello from uh-huh from then we are going to press uh, just append this then I'm going to append another string like this maybe city okay so it's going to say maybe it's if it's Nairobi hello from Nairobi city what from what all that so this is uh, again here we are just now supposed to get the selection from the combo box now before I add this it's very very important that uh, we know that it's a string okay selected city okay 
let's see how to get this very clearly so it's supposed to be equal to the selection from the combo box but remember uh, the combo box has an observable array list correction so in short we want to get the, uh, the, 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 the item at the index that was selected okay that is the one that's supposed to return us the name of the city that was selected for example let me do this I'm going to say uh, the cities okay cities dot get okay so remember we want this index and uh, if I might just do a bit in Java when we have an uh, when we have a list the get is supposed to get the maybe it can get the size of the list but get is supposed to get an item at a specific index if I may say it's zero then it shall return us the city at zero which shall be Nairobi remember in programming computer counts from zero not from one it is from zero onwards but in this case I don't want to select this I want to select it dynamically so how do I do that it's very simple I'm going to take the index uh, from the from the combo box itself and I'm going to say strings combo box okay dot this is very important dot get selection model dot get selected index please note this this is very very important I said string combo box you first of all take the combo box and then you get its selection model and then get selected index that returns for you an index okay guys an index and I'm going to test this I'm going to test this first all right so let me first of all see um, selected city okay remember that was the method uh, that was the parameter that was missing from this method here okay so if I may run these guys let's see what is going to happen now let's see what is going to happen right I'm going to en enlarge this a bit just enlarge it a bit if I select Nairobi then you can see we are saying hello from Nairobi city okay this is uh, how we are this is how you get an item from the selection combo box okay okay hello from New York City okay uh, hello from Hong Kong City all right so it is very very important to understand the selection model this is the same same thing that we are going to use with the table view to get the index of the selected uh, row in the table view and get the details from that row all right and I wanted I just wanted to indicate something that this one this selection model it's actually returning a number an integer if I if I may say uh, in this point um, at this point let me just change something a bit let me let is just print the integer okay maybe I'm going to maybe I'm going to say int index okay I'm going to give it an index let it just be an index like that and instead of printing all these let me just say let me just I just want you to print only the index right guys I just want to print it only the index that's all I'm going to wrap this using string dot value of so that uh, we can convert it to to a uh, string format so I want to get the index of the city that has been selected if I may say int index or se or selected index I want to show you that this dot get selection index actually returns an integer so we are going to see again the string combo box dot get selection model not no, no, no dot get selection model dot get selected index all right that's that's it then I'm going to pass the selected index here okay that's it so if I may now run a program now I want to get the index of the cities that were selected okay you see one okay so Paris is in position one and you can see this Nairobi is supposed to be in position zero Paris position one New York position two it's position two uh, Abuja position uh, Hong Kong position three it's position three and uh, Hong Abuja position four exactly so this is how it's supposed to work guys and uh, I hope you have understood what I'm saying there are some more attributes to the combo box once you've uh, gotten the message that you want from this combo box then later on you can you can use it to do some action maybe to support to perform some further actions all right now imagine that you don't want to 
just have an art box here maybe you want to take that uh, event or maybe type of action and perform some some operations on the database this is how you get the this is how you get the selection or whatever was selected in that combo box so uh this is uh this has been about this uh, uh, the, the 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 combo box and uh, let me check whether there's something else so that we may see so there's one more thing guys and uh it is about setting the visible row count all right as you can see let me just first of all delete this okay if we run this and uh, if we run this all right let me just run it first if you look at these guys uh, the visible row count here this is the visible row count i've not set any this is a these are the visible rows all right and I may have as many as so much. Maybe imagine that you have a lot of info, a lot of information. This list is so long, such that it's even longer than this uh, window. Okay, because it's maybe you are populating it from the database. Maybe using like five thousand items or something. Uh, you need to set a visible row count. Okay, so that uh, you, what a visible row count means is that it's going to show the, that number of rows, and then if there are more rows, they are going to be scorable. All right. So it's going to give that uh, scorable event there. So let me let me just first of all uh, let me just set uh, the visible account. To set the visible account is actually very simple. You just say string dot a uh, string combo box dot set visible account, and maybe you want a visible account of four. Okay, depending on what you're working on. But I'm assuming that you you are going to want a lot of this. And if I may just uh, copy this. I just uh, pasted them here so that we have a lot, okay? Don't worry about this, the, 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 the same, same, uh, whatever, the same, same names coming up. I just want to show you the importance of the visible account, okay? Let's see. So you can see we have a lot of values, but they are being, they are scorable, okay? We are only showing four at a time one, one, two, three, four, okay? If I decide to set this uh, the visible account to something like maybe eight, okay, or eight, eight like that, and guys, I'm tired of resizing this window always. Let me just resize it using the uh, using the default. Is the width I'm I want it to be about about uh, four hundred, maybe the height two seventy five, or maybe the height should be three hundred. Okay, okay. Now let me let me run this. So remember I said the, the, the visible row count to it. So we are, we are supposed to see at least eight columns and then the rest are scorable. And you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is about the combo box, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope to see you in the next tutorial, guys. Please support us, subscribe to our channel. Uh, let us hear from you guys. Let us see, let us hear what you really want to run about. And thank you. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to be looking at the table view, Java FX table view, and uh, how we are, how we use the table view actually, and why why you need a table view, and all that. So I'll see you in the next tutorial, guys. So thank you very much.